Hi, I'm Tusha from SDMAN Tag Team. In this video, I will walk you through configuration of email notification on vManage. The vManage version used for this video is 2010.1. The configuration process is similar to other versions. Login into your vManage GUI. Step 1. From vManage dashboard, navigate to Administration, Settings, Alarm Notifications, Edit, and Configure the Enable Alarm Notification section. In Email Settings, the security field has three options, None, SSL, TLS. I'll be using Gmail SMTP Server. The port depends on what security options you choose. From Address will be a valid Gmail address, while as Reply Address will be a dummy no reply address. There has been a change with the way Gmail integrates with third-party apps including vManage. To use the Gmail SMTP server, you will need to enable two-step verification and create an app password. This password will then be used in the SMTP authentication field along with your email address. These settings can be configured in security tab under the manage your Google account option. Note that SMTP authentication is not required for Outlook. For step two, from vManage dashboard, navigate to monitor, logs, alarms, alarm notification. Then click on add alarm notification, which includes sub configuration such as name, severity, email list, and threshold. The alarm name must not contain spaces. You have the option to select specific type of alarms and the severity level to receive email notification. In this case, all alarms have been selected. In the account detail field, you can add up to 10 email recipients and set email threshold. By default, the maximum number of emails sent per minute is 5. If the number of email exceeds this threshold, you will receive a notification. Choose the devices to associate with the alarm and add. You can follow a similar procedure to enable webhook notifications. However, in this case, you will need to provide the webhook URL and credentials. To verify if the emails have been sent, navigate to vManage, logs, audit logs, and check for email sent logs. You can click on the messages to view the additional information. In case of failure, you will see email failed logs. If the email sending is successful, you will receive an email in your inbox. In this case, I have received an email for a critical event. In case of email sending failure, you can troubleshoot by logging into vManage CLI and accessing vShell. From there, you can verify the connectivity between the SMTP server and the vManage using the telnet command. To investigate email sending failures in detail, you can look at the vManage server logs located in var log nms directory. You can utilize the tail command to view the vManage server logs and then use the grep to search for the keyword email. This can help you identify potential issues related to authentication, bad credentials, or reachability that may be causing the problem. Analyzing these logs can provide valuable insights for troubleshooting and resolving the email sending failures. Thank you for watching the video.